Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Coca-Cola is probably the biggest brand of all time, recognized around the world. The company even admitted that they see their main rival as naturally occurring water. When you get to the point where you're taking on the basic sustaining chemicals of life, you know that you've made it. Of course, if we did replace all water with Coke, everything would be dead pretty quickly. But it would be fun to watch cats in a permanent sugar rush. And what would happen to sloths when they're pumped full of sugar and caffeine? Today, we're looking at the top 10 things you didn't know about Coca-Cola. Number 10. Comic Book Designed OK Soda Coke created many brands under the Coca-Cola name, some to great success, and some not so much. OK Soda was launched in 1993 and was discontinued within just two years. Coke discovered that the word Coke was the second most recognized word around the world, but first was OK. So they decided to try and force their way into the top spot by making a fruity drink called OK Soda and using an attempted iconic marketing campaign heavily targeted at young people. They even got indie comic heroes like Charles Burns and Daniel Klaus to design some of the cans. The whole idea had the feel of a creepy uncle having a midlife crisis and trying to use his money to buy young friends. Not okay. Uh, okayness has always existed. Think about it. Delicious. Uh, yeah. Bring it back, Coke. <laughs> this is it a Coke product? Yes, yeah, it is a Coca-Cola product. product. Number 9. Most Expensive Of course, with so many products sold all over the world, there is a thriving collector's market for rare Coke bottles, cans, and merchandise. But like with most collecting, it's the obsessive who take it too far, and there have been some huge sales for cans simply because of their factory defects making them unique. One can fan paid $281,000 for a can from just a few years ago with the Brazil 2014 World Cup logo on it. It wasn't even chill. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, things go better with Coca-Cola, things go better with Coke. Life is much more fun when you're refreshed. And Coke refreshes you best. It's the refreshingest. Food goes better with fun, goes better with you, goes better with Coke. The real life one puts extra fun in you and everything you do. So things go better with Coca-Cola, things go better with Coke. Things go more economically, too, with bright, sparkling Coca-Cola in the big, big family size. And just the right size when there are four or more to share. Fun. Food. And people. All go better with the cold, crisp taste of ice-cold Coke. Things go better with Coca-Cola. Things go better with Coke. Thriftiest in the big, big family size. Number 8. Weird Flavors It's hard to describe what Coke actually tastes like, so sometimes they like to help us out by adding flavors we do actually recognize, like vanilla, lemon, or cherry, which has proved to be the most popular and enduring. They once even combined two of these to give us black cherry vanilla, but it's hard to fit all that name on one can. But there have also been some frankly disgusting flavors, such as green tea, which tasted like dishwater mixed with a confused tree. Worst of all was Coca-Cola Light Plus, which had added vitamins and antioxidants, not for its flavor, but for the incredible stupidity of anyone who was drinking Coke for its health benefits. Number 7. Design was an accident. When Coca-Cola were starting out, there were a lot of similar products, so they held a contest with a $500 prize, decent money in those days, to design an instantly recognizable bottle. The Root Glass Company in Indiana won, giving us one of the most iconic shapes in history. The thing is, 
they went to the library to look up coca and saw coco. They knew Coke had no connection with Coco, but they liked the way the Coco Pod looked, so they just thought, that'll do, and designed the bottle around it. Who knows what the bottle would have looked like if they'd gone a few entries further down the dictionary. Atlanta, 1886. John Pemberton created Coca Cola. He chose the best ingredients from around the world to create his secret formula. The result? Unique great taste and refreshment. The most uplifting drink of all time. No added preservatives, no artificial flavors, the real thing since 1886. Number 6. Invented the Six Pack. And Coke's packaging innovations didn't stop there. They're also one of the first ever companies, if not the first, to sell a six pack. Obviously, you need to drink Coke cold. Warm Coke is for cavemen. So as more and more people got refrigerators, Coke realized they could sell to people in bulk so they could still have them at home. But having a bunch of glass bottles at the bottom of a brown paper bag is just a disaster waiting to happen. So they created a cardboard box with a top handle to carry six bottles at a time. Number five, Nazi Fanta. When you're trying to find a target market, murderous white power movement is not a normal choice. But the brand Fanta was actually developed by Coke specifically to enable them to sell in Nazi Germany. Initially in the 1930s, Germany was one of Coke's strongest markets outside of the US, and they sold well. But as the problems began, they stopped selling their original brand, partly to avoid association, as they had a very patriotic following in the US, but also the logistics of delivering the ingredients was too complex. So a new drink was created. Its name comes from the German word fantasy meaning imagination. Number four, a woman drank herself to death on it. In 2010 down in New Zealand, a 30-year-old woman with eight children drank herself to death on Coca-Cola. Yes, there's a lot to process in that sentence. The coroner who examined her body stated that many years of drinking over eight liters of the drink every day was, without doubt, the biggest factor in her heart failure. It took such a toll on her body that one of her children was born with no enamel on her teeth. Some questioned whether this meant Coke should come with a health warning, but eight liters of anything a day is unlikely to be good for you. Number three, Coke made for Passover. Coke is kosher, in case anyone was wondering. But during the Jewish celebration of the Passover, there are stricter rules about what can and can't be consumed. And high fructose corn syrup puts Coke on the naughty list. So rather than miss out on valuable business and let Jewish fans suffer in uncarbonated silence, every year they produce a special batch that is made with a sucrose sweetener, meaning they get a pass for Passover. Number two biggest ever racial discrimination lawsuit. In April 1999, a lawsuit was filed against the company by four African-American former employees, who also represented 2,200 other workers. But what we want is a partnership. They claimed that they had been racially discriminated against when it came to pay, promotions, and performance evaluations, which are all kind of helpful if you want a good job. And they won when Coke settled for $192 million, with Coke refusing to accept the allegations, but agreeing to make widespread changes. This is still the largest ever racial discrimination agreement in corporate history. Number one, Coke problems in space. Coke was the first soft drink in space, but it wasn't exactly a resounding success. 
When you drink down on Earth, a lot of bubbles rise to the surface of the liquid and evaporate, which is why you hear that sort of crackling noise if you put your ear near a glass of Coke. This doesn't happen in zero gravity, so you ingest way more bubbles. And burping in space is also worse because, well, let's not get into the biology, but trust us, it's gross. Houston, we have a problem. Someone open a window. Thanks for watching another Daily Top Tens Top Ten video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Elhi Ops Fans.